Hey guys, Mods here and welcome back to part 3 of the editing series that I've been doing. And today's topic is sound effects. What are sound effects? It's the gunshots that you put on the clips. Make like, um, let me just show you real quick. Here's the clip, the finished clip. We added uh, the color correction, but I'm gonna disable that for now. Um, so I can uh, work with sound effects. Let me play that real quick. So you see, there's not the actual sound of the gunshot going on. And an edit should have that. But I think um, the sound effects is like, uh, it shouldn't be too loud or too quiet. And I'm gonna show you in a second how you can determine that. First, you need to figure out what gun are you using in your clip. I've got my AX50 here. All the clips are AX50 shots from Warzone. It's the sniper from Warzone. So you need, I'm only gonna need the AX50 uh, sound effect. Here it is. I'm gonna leave uh, in the description a link to the pack, the whole pack of Warzone sound shots. It contains all the weapons, the AX50, HDR, like every single uh, weapon in the game. So here's the raw, um, raw sound effect of the AX50. So we gotta make that better. That's not good at all to put like just right away in your clip. Clip, sorry. So go to your first shot. Let me just do this. My first shot is right here, so drag the X50 sound to where it starts and uh, drag it from the side in okay um, then what you gotta do is go to the end of it while holding control on the keyboard hold control it says time stretch while you're holding control and drag it right until it says 75 percent okay what you gotta do now is right click on the audio track AX50 properties go to properties and method instead of elastic go to classic and pitch change lock to stretch this is the important part press lock to stretch then go with OK now uh, without hold holding control drag the clip make it um, make the sound effect uh, shorter then go to the top right of the clip when it says fade out hover over it it says fade out and drag it left so it like starts um, from the max volume and goes down gradually uh, until nothing at all and um, you gotta add three tracks audio tracks to your edit underneath the song there should be three tracks so one two three the AX50 sound you can put in the middle because there is more uh, to, to enhance the sound, there is bass and there is swooshes, you know. Now, let me just um, play this, see how it sounds. So you can hear the actual gunshot of the AX50 now. Um, some sounds is like higher volume, you gotta watch out for that. You can determine that by this uh, audio bar right here, if it goes beyond red. So there's like levels, green, yellow, orange, and red. Red is really uh, loud, so it's gonna make your edit sound so um, so rough to the ear, you know. Let me play this and see where it goes. So this only goes to orange, which is uh, perfect uh, for the edit. And it sounds really good, but you gotta make it better, you know. Go to the bass. I'm gonna leave these all in the description, the bass and swoosh. Drag the bass, same thing. Um, uh, place it above the AX50 sound where she shoots, and without holding control on the keyboard, without it, just drag it until you, uh, it's like synced with the AX50 from the beginning to end. Go to the top right and fade it out inside. So it starts um, louder and goes quieter uh, as the song progresses. Okay, but the bass here is so loud. As you can see, warning for the headphone users. I'm sorry, guys. It goes beyond red. It's so loud. It's not going to make your edit any better. So what you got to do to make it quieter.
quieter is uh, hover over uh, the line, the white line that you can see here. It says gain. While holding that, drag down until you hit minus eight decibels, my minus eight point three. So let me play this real fast. That sounds so nice. Uh, it's not ear rape. <laughs> it sounds good like that. So don't make it loud or quiet. Now, go to your swoosh. The swoosh is a different story here. It's different than the actual gunshot of the AX50 and the bass. The swoosh is like the build up, so you gotta put it um, uh, behind the AX50 sound. And then go to the top left of it and fade it in. And go to the white line as you can see here and lower it to minus seven. Or minus like just lower it to between six, seven, eight. I don't go beyond that, like down it's not gonna sound it's not gonna like you can't hear it in the actual edit. Uh let's test that. Uh a swoosh is actually the build up. As you can see right here, I'm gonna play that. So let me just um, disable the song so you can hear the swoosh. Gives us that really nice um, editing effect, but you don't gonna repeat the swoosh all over the shots. It's not gonna sound repetitive. Uh, it's not gonna sound so good. So you get you put as as uh, the sound effect on the first shot. But the second shot and the third shot of this edit um, don't have any sound effects at all. So what you gotta do is press on the bass and hold control on your keyboard and press on the AX50 sound so they're both highlighted. Then um, right click on the bass or the AX50 sound doesn't matter and go to copy. Or you can just con uh, press control C so you can copy it. So these bo both of these sounds are now copied. Go to the second shot. This is the second shot. Go to the start of it, right click, paste. And you pasted the, um, like, you pasted your um, AX50 sound to the next shot. And there's a third shot. So you gotta do that, uh, that shit, same again. Paste on the third shot also. Let's hear that. <laughs> So we got the sound effects on all of the shots. Of course, if you have a longer edit, which most of y'all would would have, you gotta repeat all of the uh, all of the sound effects on every shot. You know what I'm saying? And because it's a short edit, three uh, three clip edit, I like to copy the switch to right click, copy, and add it to the third. Uh, Third shot, not the second shot, because it, it, it got, it's gonna sound repetitive to the sh third shot. And go at the start, so swoosh, AX50 and bass. The swoosh should always be um, before the AX50 shot. Let's hear that. That sounds good. And one more thing, if you're dealing with um, an HDR maybe, an HDR, the sniper from uh, Modern Warfare, a lot of people use that. So if you have an HDR clip, uh, you don't want to use the AX50 sound. You go here and grab the HDR sound effect and you repeat the same um, things that we did before to the AX50. Or you can just right click on your... Uh, on the actual AX50 sound that you did, that you edited, and press copy. Go to the HDR, right click, paste event uh, attributes, sorry, paste event attributes. It's gonna like save everything you did to the AX50, it's gonna save it on the HDR. The only thing that you gotta do is go to the top right and fade it out inside. And you can, let me get rid of this real quick. Without holding control, drag it so it matches the base and uh, HDR shots um, uh, the HDR sound is uh, different than the AX50 so if you have an HDR shot you gotta put the HDR AX50 AX50 you know what I'm saying okay so you can hear the difference here between the HDR and the AX50 this is HDR 
this is AX50. And one more thing, I gotta let you hear uh, the sound effects without the song. Let me just mask this, disable the song, and play it once again. As you can see, the sounds um, sound so good. If that makes any sense at all, holy shit. And this is it for this tutorial, guys. Um, make sure to like and share, and your support really means a lot to me. My velocity tutorial, uh, tutorial I can't spell that word, sorry. Tutorial almost hit, uh, it hit 50k uh, views and like 2k likes. I'm so happy with that, so I'm continuing this. Every week there is a video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.